Hey guys. Oh boy. It's been a long time. Yeah. Things, um, well, I'm going to explain everything and let you know kind of what's been going on and why I have been absent from social media. Um, but first of all, I just wanted to thank everyone, um, for all your kind words and, um, a lot of you have been really concerned and I'm so sorry I haven't been gotten back to you. Um, it's, but it really means a lot to me that you guys care about me and, um, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. It makes me feel really good. And I'm sorry I haven't been really returning that. Um, and as I always say, I'm going to try and work on it, but I think, um, I'm not going to promise to be super better, um, as, as far as like updating and everything. But I think that, um, I think that, uh, good things are happening as far as, uh, where I'm going to be going with, with this channel and a couple other projects I have in mind. Um, okay. So let me get to the update. Um, so since last July, which is when I had my last update video, I believe it was July 30th. Um, and it is July 1st today. So yeah, it's been a year. Pretty crazy. Um, I have, um, I would say what kind of happened I was really focusing on, because that at that point in time, like I had just finished the, the TMS about like two, three months before that, and I was kind of adjusting to feeling better, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but that's basically what was happening. I was really focusing on getting back to life and getting back to living um, without struggling. But I kind of talked about it last time about having the bad habits and the bad thinking patterns. And that is something I continued to struggle with. Um, I think uh, mainly lack of motivation because of negative thoughts telling me um, you can't do it. You know, you're going to go back. It's it's all going to come back. And I just be so afraid. It's, it's hard. It's hard when, you know, and you guys know, like it's, it's hard when for years and years you just say these horrible things to yourself and yeah, you know, I'm doing a lot better, but those are ingrained and it's hard. It's really hard. And so, um, motivation especially, um, and that's kind of why I slacked off on updating with you guys, um, because I would procrastinate <laughs> because I was scared that I wasn't going to do a good enough job or that it was going to be too much. And, you know, I just, I feel so, I love you guys so much. And I want to return every single message and every single comment and every single email that I get. And I put it off and I put it off and I put it off. And then when I can't do it, all at once I feel like I'm failing and then I end up not doing it at all which is really a bummer but it's it's part of what I'm struggling with right now and um, you know it's a bit this is a big commitment for me and I get scared of commitment sometimes or a lot of times <laughs> um, but I think kind of what's been happening is I've kind of just been getting by almost I've been getting back to doing the everyday things without having to struggle with them, if that makes sense. Kind of establishing new habits, you know, just basic, you know, taking care of the house, taking care um, at work, um, you know, advancing at work, uh, maintaining and, you know, rekindling friendships and things that, you know, weren't working out so well before. This is more, uh, this is up till about two months ago that I've really been just kind of getting by and not really taking on anything new because I was scared. Um, but in the last couple of months, things have really changed. Things have really started to look up and I have some really cool things that are going on right now. Um, in January, I did receive a promotion at work, another one, because I know I had said I had gotten the full-time position last July. Um, in January, I received another um, promotion. I um, became assistant store manager of the retail store that I work at, and that was huge. That was a really big step. I was so 
scared. I, I'm telling you guys, I was so scared to take that position because I knew it was going to come with a lot more responsibility. Um, and that is huge because before I had gotten promoted last July, I had been only a part-time for 11 years. Yeah. Um, not at the same job, but just in general, um, a part-time for 11 years. And I never took a full-time position because I was so afraid of the responsibility. And so the fact that I'm an assistant manager now, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, just thinking about even at the place I was last year, I, um, I can't believe it. I'm very lucky to have very supportive, um, coworkers who know what's going on with me. I'm very open about, about what's going on with me and they are all so supportive and I've really been able to excel. And yeah, I've, obviously I still struggle. Obviously there's still a lot of anxiety um, with with the position, but I'm, I'm definitely growing and learning and it's been really, really good. Um, another thing, um, I started taking a class um, through one of the community colleges here in my community and um, kind of thinking about going back to school. And um, so I'm taking this one summer class online and I, um, I went to, um, I went to visit my college, um, that the one that if you guys remember, I had to drop out of because of the depression. And I just recently, we went back and was on campus and was just walking around and it's just, it was really hard, but really Cool at the same time just to think how far I've come and it kind of sparked something inside of me and I mean I've been wanting to go back to school and at least get my AA um, at some point but I don't know I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to go get my bachelor's and go back to school there and finish it there like how amazing would that be like a full circle kind of thing so that's um, that's kind of what I'm my dream is right now, you know, I mean, I could change my mind. I changed my mind a lot about what I want to do with my life. So I don't know, not making any promises, but that's kind of what I have in mind right now. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but anyways, this class I'm taking, I think is a really good thing for me because I, I definitely made a video. I, yes, I did make a video, um, about when I tried to go back to school, um, in this, in the place that I live now. And that obviously went terrible. Um, if you guys remember, it was not good. I, you know, ended up having to withdraw um, pretty, I think maybe like a month or two months after I started. And so I thought maybe taking this online class would be really good because it would kind of serve as a transition and kind of show me how I'm gonna do with um, with going back to school because it's a it's a big deal. I mean, the thing that I really struggled with, I think, was school. I would get so scared of, you know, if I missed an assignment or if I missed class, I would feel like, oh my gosh, the professor's so mad at me. I just completely, I completely messed up. Like, and I'm a perfectionist and perfectionism often goes along with anxiety. And I would get so anxious and I would think, oh my gosh, like I, now I ruined everything. Everything's done. I can't, I can't do this anymore because I messed up one time and it, Basically, I, I'm not perfect, so I can't do it. And I think that um, that you know that really, really messed me up and has prevented me from going back to school. And now um, taking an online class, it's a little bit less pressure because I don't have to go to class, which is kind of nice. You know, I can just kind of do it at my own pace, and that is kind of getting me back in the mindset. And I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm actually signed up to take a, uh, like a classroom class in the fall. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the update. Um, I have a project that I'm working on and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm going to be starting a blog. And it's going to be sort of similar to what my videos are now because obviously my videos started out as, you know, my ECT, you know, journey and my, then my TMS journey. But now, you know, that I'm doing so much better, I feel like I could really, you know, start making some videos about, um, which I kind of talked about in my last video about, you know, how I'm going to deal with the bad habits and how I'm going to, you know, better my life. 
and I think that um, I'm definitely gonna do that through my videos but I also want to start a blog because I love to write and I can really express myself um, very very well through words and I think it'll be a really cool opportunity um, and I already kind of started um, I haven't um, published it yet or put it online yet but I'm working on some articles and I wanted to ask you guys if um, you have um, if you could um, either comment or message me and or email me and if you guys have any like ideas for what type of blog posts I should do like questions that you guys have or you know topics that you think I might be able to you know have some insight on that would be awesome and um, I will definitely let you guys know when the blog goes live and um, it's gonna be really really cool so um, anyways um, I don't want to promise what my next video is gonna be because I feel like I do that all the time and then I totally don't do it so um, here's to it being soon and um, thank you guys again for your patience with me and for your wonderful kind words and um, I'm gonna be um, trying to slowly get back to everyone um, at, like private messages and that kind of thing and comments and all that stuff so um, yeah um, I love you guys and thanks so much for everything and I will talk with you soon okay bye